representation of SASPO. Let us start by entering a simple query into the query box. I enter the query India. Uh, as you can see, this will bring me text results of India. Let us look at the other features while we wait. This is the drop down menu icon. This gives us graphic icons to visit all the important websites, blogs, and GitHub pages of SASPO and Fossetia. Um, we also have a settings menu and a tools menu in SASPO. Now the text results have loaded. Also notice the suggestion box, which automatically suggests possible queries. Mm, clicking on enter will hide this. We have an information box that concisely represents all the information of our query. This appears for all the popular queries. Then we have an analytics box, which lists out the top providers and the top authors uh, on this query. We have a results frequency and protocol distribution graph also. There is a, a section called related searches where you can click on any of the searches related to your query. And finally, there's a pagination bar that allows you to navigate to any of your uh, pages of the query. We also have other kinds of results. We can view image results for our query. As you can see, this is the image viewer box um, where we can view all the images. Then we can also view video results for the query. Um, where uh, right now not a lot of video results are present. Um, SUSPO also has um, other uh, really cool features, uh, such as suppose I enter a wrongly spelled query. Instead of Germany, I enter Germany with an I. And let us see what happens. As you can see, the results have loaded, but the query is most probably spelled wrong. So um, there will be a did you mean prompt from Suspa uh, asking us whether we want to navigate to the correct query, which is Germany. Uh, while it loads, we can uh, look at the other features in Suspa, uh, such as the settings menu which allows us to change the search settings or the customization. As you can see, the did you mean prompt appears, and you can navigate to the correct query from here. Uh, let us see what search settings or customization we can change. Let's start with customization. Customization allows you to change the themes in Suspa. So you can go to a dark theme, any a basic theme, a contrast theme, or a terminal-based theme. Uh, this will add variety to the page. Then we have a tools menu, which allows uh, context ranking, which is the default uh, display ranking. Then uh, a ranking which sorts by date, or uh, an advanced search, which is very interesting. You can uh, choose which provider you want uh, to display results from. And it will only display results from that particular provider. OK, um, let us now uh, see what search settings do. Clicking on search settings will allow you to either choose instant results or to never show instant results, but fix the number of uh, results per page. Right now, it is set to 10. I can move it to, say, 15. Now, once I save, I can re-enter my query. And when the results load, you will see that this time, 15, queries are, uh, 15 results are displayed per page. So this time, there are 15 results. All right. Um, we also have a lot of documentation on our website itself. We have an about page, a page for the terms, and a contact page also. Uh, let us now see one of the most interesting features in Suspo. Uh, this is the speech to text and text to speech feature. I'll start by clicking on the microphone icon. India. India officially the Indi India officially the Republic of India Bharagana India officially the Republic of India Bharagana Raja is a country in South Asia
It is the seventh largest country by geographical area, the second most populous country with over 1.2 billion people, and the most populous democracy in the world. Yes. Um, let us now see how CISPA is compatible on, a de on devices of all sizes. CISPA works on mobile devices. It also works on devices with uh, very large screens, uh, large laptops with 1920 pixel widths. Uh, let us see uh, how this happens. Mm, I've opened CISPA in Mozilla Firefox. Uh, this allows me to simulate different kinds of mobile devices. As you can see, uh, this is a Samsung Galaxy S7. Mm, this is how the website appears. Uh, all the components are automatically shrunk to fit in. And there is um, the info box and the analytics box also get modified. Clicking on the show analytics or hide analytics will toggle the analytics box. You can also uh, view this on a normal sized laptop where the layout changes. Or you can view it on a Kindle. Um, and you can see that for all pages, uh, the site is responsive and uh, usable. So this ends my demonstration of the Sasper website. Um, thank you all for listening.